welcome to another exciting episode of Trogodite. Don't walk into the light! In this episode, I plan on going to the beach and making a nice little beach house for my angler and a couple of other future residents. I need to clear out some space for new NPCs who will be arriving shortly. I also want to do a couple of quality life things. I uh, want to get a depth meter. Eventually, I'm going to want to make a cell phone. And going for the depth meter now will just save me some time later. I also want to possibly do the Torch God's favor. I've never done this event before. I'm excited. I'm a little scared, but I'm also excited. Well, I mean, I want to do it. So, yeah. First, though, we'll check out a fishing quest. We love our fishing quests. I did a few off camera. I'm starting to get a nice little collection here. I actually got a jungle crate. I'm not sure if I got that on camera or not. I don't think I did. But uh, like the other ones, I'm going to open these all up when I get a sufficient amount. I could start opening up the wooden crates, but uh, it's, it's not necessary. Let's wait until I get some more iron crates and some more golden crates to do that. All right. I got some new key bindings, so bear with me if I'm a little clumsy. Trying some things out. Trying to get better. Jungle fish. Oh my god, what kind? Mud fish. Do I have mud fish? I do. Look at this. It's paid off. Good little slave. It's not a great thing to say. Uh, complete your 10th quest for the angler. I didn't see what I got. I got some journeyman bait and the angler hat increases fishing power. Nice. I got to keep that in my piggy so I can use it when I go a fishing. Same goes for the journeyman bait. I'm running out of bait. In between episodes, like I said, I've been doing some fishing, and uh, I only got the three black dragonflies and uh, these scorpions, and uh, I don't want to be using scorpions. Their fishing power is is dreadful. Quickly, because we're nearby, I did a little bit of cleaning up with the arena. Not much. Just add this little slope, so, you know. It looks a little prettier when you're trying to get in. I also have a few more ideas about how to improve the arena and the look of it, but uh, I'm going to save those for later. I have plans on doing an improvement series within this series. Basically, every 10th episode, I want to devote to retooling my builds. And a traveling merchant has arrived. Fantastic. So, on the 10th episode, I might come back here and uh, add some uh, fence here. Some uh, wrought iron fence or something. I don't know. I was seeing pictures of wrought iron fence online. I'm like, that would look really nice lining this walkway. But I also might go back to my base. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to summon him. New key bindings. So I want to go back to my base. And, uh, I, you know, work on this roof. Maybe, like, raise the level here. And uh, add some more chests. So every 10th episode, I could do little things like that. Stop moving. What do we got? Panda ears. Yellow team platform. I'm not sure if I have the yellow team. Extend no grip. We want that. Ultra bright torches. I think you need 101 for the torch god event. So let's take 101 of those. I think I have this painting. But let me check the platform. I'm going to try to get all the platforms. No, I have pink. I have pink. I don't have yellow. So, a thousand of those. And a thousand of those. And the sun is coming out. Lovely. One thing we should do really quick, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, is check out the right side of the map. We're definitely hardy enough to survive going through the corruption. I think it needs to be done, because this, this place is still unexplored. So, do, let's do that really quick. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did tear down the mock-up we did for the arena. Because the arena is built. We don't need the mock-up anymore. I have plans of maybe putting a elevator here someday. So, keep that in the back of your minds. Okay, here we go. Let's check this out. Ooh, worms. I need all the worms. To get the vile mushrooms too. Ow! Well, 
Like I said, I also messed with the key bindings. I'm trying to get better at combat. I'm not scared of you either. Ha-ha! Still need more wood. I might put some wood into my fishing shack. I make a lot of shacks. Okay, why am I just standing there? Just standing there taking a beating. Should have taken some shine potions. I apologize for that. I'll try to put some light. Oh, jeez! No! I can handle this! Not afraid of you, that's why I'm backing away, slowly. Probably try the sword here, because at least I can do some knockback. Ugh. Bye, merchant. Ugh. Make progress, get across this map. Saw that technique from a, from a hardcore Terraria streamer. They just like start with the torture and then they just swipe down to make sure that it gets placed. It's actually a good technique. Look at that. Boom. What is this? Corrupted desert? What kind of world am I living in? Interesting. Ooh, in a dungeon. Now, if I had the depth meter, it would be useful right now because then I could go down a little bit and see if I could find like a magic bolt. I don't know where the surface is right now. Ugh. This is pretty low. That's pretty low on the map. I'm scared if I go too deep, I'm going to get killed. Okay, this is still surface down here. And I think that's about parallel with that. Yeah, I could go a little lower. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, let's try the books in here, of course. Could be lucky. They could just be right here. There's a way to tell where the book is. I'm not really good at that part. Oof. Oh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous in the service. Nope. 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 We don't need any stupid deaths today. Excessively stupid deaths, I should clarify. I can fix all the key bindings I want. If I have no aim, it doesn't matter. See, I might want to build the shack over here because there's water right next to the beach. So I could do my surface fishing here. And then I could do my beach fishing over here. Don't know what I want to do. The other reason I wanted to build my beach shack on the other side of the world was because I wanted to be able to go to the gnome area easily from the beach shack. But it doesn't really matter, I guess, because I could always use the magic conch to get over there if I wanted to. So that's what I'll do. I'll build the shack over here. Which ebon wood do I have? 223. That's not a lot, but I don't need a lot. I just want the ebon wood for the background wall. I want to do a mixture of bamboo and ebon wood. The ebon wood painted uh, brown, obviously. Or maybe not obviously. I don't know. We're going to finish off the episode with that. Right now, I want to do the Torch God's Favor. I don't know if that's what the event is called. I want to do the Torch God event. You get the Torch God's favor by completing the event. So let me just out of here. For a place to do the Torch God event, I think one of these mushroom biomes would be best because the mushrooms give off passive lighting. And while I'm there, I can try to farm the depth meter from the bats because those little blue bats will give you the depth meter. Uh, this one might be better just because it has a flatter surface. I think I'm going to go here. Let's head over. But it's actually a new day, so let's not forget quests. Let's see here. Scorpio fish! I got him! That's back-to-back -back quests I did not have to fish for. Dream bait, gold, and fishing potion. 
Nice. I should put a uh, piggy down. So I don't have to constantly do this when I'm in here. Oh, I am so extra. There we go. We quick stacked the potions and the such. Do I have a torch here? Let me get rid of that one. I want uh, a controlled number of torches for this. To help us out with the bats, what I should do is put down a gnome. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting drops. So, the gnome. Love those gnomes. Extra torches. I should have also brought a peace candle so that when I eventually do the Torch God's favor, Torch God event, I won't get destroyed by background uh, things. Oh, God! Put the gnome back. Put that banner up in here. I also need a platform a little bigger than those mushrooms so I don't have to cut them all down. This place is too dangerous for me. Let's temporarily put some there. Oh, come on! I have half of mine just to farm for banners so that I don't have to worry about these guys hurting me while I'm doing Torch God. I just realized that uh, that fairy that was circling me left. When I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it alighted on something and I didn't see it. A no-eyed Wily. Oh. Skeleton Merchant. Nice. Okay. Uh, Spelunker Glow Sticks. I definitely want these. Take a full stack. Green counterweight. I don't think I have the green color yet. I'm a collector. Get that one. And, uh, da, da, da. that's good. Gonna set up a wall. I guess I could use my living leaf wall. I got tons of it on me. Ooh, we're not torching it yet. So far, the bats are not producing, but it's okay. We got time. I'm trying to imagine, like, if the lights, if the torch fires start coming at me this way, then I can dodge down and dodge up and dodge down. That's probably enough. Sure, there's still room in my inventory. Ooh, I don't think I fought one of these guys on camera yet. And I didn't get a drop. Boo hoo! Another banner. Where'd I put my other one up? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I put it here. Matters a little, because I'm tearing apart the banner area. Let me keep it lit while I'm farming. 
It's the least I can do for the audience. Oh my god! Black Slime Banner, that's a good one. I think I just need the Spore Skeletons and the Husk Banners to be completely safe in this place. Not that that's what I'm farming for. Give me the Death Meter! Down to 392 Jester Arrows. I'm just going crazy with these things. You again? Anything different? Another counterweight. Alright, I'm getting the whole collection. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of interested in the bone arrows, but once you've gone Jester, it's tough to go back. Nice to know this is a nice little place if I want to try to spawn uh, the, the Skellington Merchant here. Skeleton Merchant? Skellington Merchant? Got a hook! I could actually make a grappler if I wanted to. A little late since I already have the one from the King Slime, but it's nice to have options. Ooh, sneaky torches. And here he is again. Strange brew. I don't want the strange brew. Don't want it. Death meter! Yes! Yes! I am 746 feet down in the caverns. All right. That took way too long. Well, maybe we should start this Torch God event. I'm going to be doing it twice. Just so you guys know. Just so you're in on it. The item that it drops is a consumable one-time only item, and once I consume it, I can't get it again. So if I want this world to be an all-items world, which I might want it to be, I have to farm him at least twice to make sure I still have that option available. We're placing, we're placing torches. I don't know why I have to narrate this part. I don't think I have to. Just feel like doing it. Oh no! It started earlier than I thought it would. It's okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're not okay. The other enemies are making it harder. Other enemies are making it harder. But we're fighting. We fought. We fought the good fight and we lost. <laughs> I think we would have done all right if not for those stupid enemies. Would have been okay without those crazy kids. All right, take two. Why did it start so early? I swear it was supposed to take a hundred torches. Did I use all hundred and I just didn't notice? Oh my god. Not gonna lie, I'm fairly disappointed. I thought I would get it on the first try. I am not a great Terraria player. I understand my limitations. But I genuinely thought... I could handle the dodging. And like I said, I might have been able to, if not for all those enemies that were just deciding to go balls out. Now, I assume this event is going to re-trigger once I'm within the vicinity. So I'll have to remember to take the buff right before I get there. Uh, take the potion now. Take the potion now. Okay, is it going to re-trigger? Yep, there it goes. Uh, 
Stupid Shelly is trying to make my life harder. Did I get it? I don't see it. I must have run out of the vicinity of the torches and uh, I didn't complete it because of that. Just trying to dodge these guys. Let's give it a second. Let's let my health pick up. Put one of these down. Okay, let me look really carefully, make sure I didn't get the Torch God's favor, and I just missed it in my inventory. No, not that I can see. Well, we're going to have a take three, but at least I didn't die. Oh, gloomy maze. Uh, you don't know what you got yourself into, buddy. Ow. Trying to make sure I don't leave the, uh, the spawning distance of the torches. Did I get it? There we go, Torch God's favor. Third try was the charm. Let's put that away. Because we're going to want to do it again. Get this out of here. I'm a winner. I don't need examples of my being a loser. There's a 60 second cooldown before I can do it again. So we'll just warm up next to the fire. Let's try to get no hit here. I'll go a little bit further down and I'll creep a little bit. I just got to make sure I'm not completely out of uh, the range of these torches. Fairy, this is the wrong time. Does it matter whether it's a pink fairy or a blue fairy? Does that matter at all? Okay, let me keep my sword out in case I get bombarded by enemies. There we go again. Oh my god, the first torch? The first torch. The second torch! The third torch! <laughs> Not perfect. Not perfect. But I survived. Okay, let me tear those down before I get manhandled again. I don't think it'll go off while I have uh, the Torch God's favor in my inventory, but uh, let's, let's not take a chance. I want to kind of get safe so I can use the uh, item. Okay, it's kind of safe in here. Let's try it. Torch God's favor consumable. Locks an ability toggle to the left of the inventory. When enabled, normal torches change according to your biome. Use it. There we go. And there it is. Biome torch swap on. Let's see if I can change my my torches. Or maybe that's what this biome has for torches. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, are you leaving me somewhere? Where are you leaving me? Okay. All right. Thank you, buddy. Nothing great. Okay, that's it. That's it. I, yeah, productive. Productive. Got the death meter. Got the torch god's favor. Ugh. Very good. All right. Get out of that dark, dingy place. Hey, look at that. A dog license. I guess that's to replace the cat that died. 
R.I.P. Valerie. All right, let's get a nice little dog. Hopefully the dog stays alive a little longer. Uh, that's all I wanted to do here. Slime fish, huh? Got one of those, buddy. Sonar, gold, and journeyman bait. There. Sonar is also going to go in there. Actually, I'll put it there. Okay, we're getting a nice stack of potions here. I'm running out of gold. I'm becoming poor. Oh, I want a chest just for my one-time consumables. I think a Skyware chest would be appropriate for that. Put that right here. Perfect. There it is. And now I have a Torch God's favor saved. Yay! Let's rename that. Here we go. Save. Yep. We're pros now. All right, let's go build a fishing shack. And leave a couple of these up. Okay, I think I'll actually start with the stone. I'm just kind of feeling things out right now. I don't have a plan on how this is going to look. I'd like this part to be a little bit bigger. My agility isn't the best. That can't be news. Okay, that's a start. That's a start. Now the trick is to make this look like it's, I don't know, uneven but not. I might want to put some living leaf like right in the wood here to show that it's kind of growing through. Oh, I did it. I've seen this wall used to try to give a three dimensional look to it. But I should also poke some holes in the leaves so that when the wall shows through, it more looks more integral. Does that make sense? Also hammering some of these so that they're not so sharp. Need a workbench. Need a workbench. Might as well use palm wood. When in Rome. I think the palm wood doors will be perfect for this build. I'm going to start with the ebon wood wall. Bear with me on this. Looks a little too boxy. A little too boxy, but I think we can address that.
That helps a little bit. I can't wait for daytime. Dirt fish. I don't think I have any. I don't. Where is it caught? Surface and underground. You know what? You have a nice surface area next to our new home. Or our new beach home, anyway. Why is it so dark over here? I don't know if this is exactly enough, but I bet it'll do. Especially after I take a potion or two. Eighty-eight fishing power. I got plenty of bass. Not a lot of dirt fish, though. Although apparently I already have a full inventory. Look at that. I also forgot a gnome. How could we forget that? Alright, I got my dirt fish. Sonar potion and gold. Alright. Almost have ten iron crates. Ten golden crates, we go we go hog and we open all these things. Funny thing is I'm gonna be moving all of this stuff after I get the fishing shack created. But yeah, whatever. No biggie. When I tore this apart, I actually liked the idea of this being just like a outgrowth. So I think I'll kind of leave part of it like off to the side. It's still a little too lopsided, I guess. Maybe I don't like that outside part. It's trial and error. Trial and error. You get somewhere if you fight long enough at this. I'm liking how the top is starting to look. Let's leave the outside alone for a little bit. I'm just mixing and matching these walls to see what sticks. To see what feels right. I like the idea that this wall was put together kind of with driftwood. So I like putting a bit of this here and a bit of that there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Let's keep going. And with the fencing, we can create a nice little window maybe. Okay, that's not going to work. With the palm wood fencing, it doesn't leave a gap. I'm liking how this has come together. I think it'll look better once I get paint. Let's just get this paintbrush out. I think it's going to be real easy. I think I'm just going to paint everything. Yeah, yeah. Look at it coming together with that paint. I think that looks pretty good. I need some kind of platform up there. Maybe some, even some cross beams to show that it's being held up. Um, get kind of an attic here. Yeah, I wanted some kind of palm wood element in here just to acknowledge that there's tons of palm wood in this area. And maybe just this little bitty shelf will do the trick. Or maybe some shelves inside made up of the palm wood. Yeah. The one thing I would like is if the door was set in. Like if the door... And I don't think I'm going to do this because I don't like it, but... like that maybe 
Ooh, wait. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. I think it's the fine-tuning details that make or break these builds. Just the little bitty things. How about this? What if I built this straight down and then just... I think what I want is an overhang out here that's kind of holding up the branches. Not necessarily this set in. Okay. All right. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. So we want that overhang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop hitting the bunny. Stop hitting the bunny. I think I need some tables and chairs and such. You know what? Who can move in here? The angler for sure. And I guess the golfer. The golfer can live over here. And uh, you know who else is going to live here? The cat. This isn't valid housing for a cat. How about this one? There you go. Let's get my guys to teleport in here. I just have to move, move, move. Hey, Mulligan. Do you have anything that would be good decoration? An ocean pylon's good decoration. Oh, throw that on the ground for a second. Where can I put this? What are these shells just like magically, you know, come into being just from being in the beach area? I want something here that's a little bit different surface texture. I could use wood. I think it needs more bits and bobs. I wish the golfer had some decoration stuff other than this awesome ocean pile on. I shouldn't be complaining, golfer. It's good stuff. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me try adding some more accessories to this place. Oh my God, we have a pile on network. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. So. <laughs> I added only a couple of things. I don't have a lot in the way of decoration right now. I know there's sort of finicky ways you can make materials look like other materials. I don't have those skills yet. I'll work on them. That'll be part of the progress of this playthrough. But uh, for right now, I think it looks okay. I got the painting in the attic here. I got some dishes on the tables. I got an ebon wood candle on this table. I added this little signpost kind of thing with a couple of the banners for the local enemies, which are zombies and the eyes. I painted it black just so it isn't as obtrusive. And uh, kind of smoothed over the sand, added some at the front and the back to show that this is kind of like been here a little bit. Sand is blown around, things have been here. Um, I think it looks okay. Do you have a quest? Do you have a quest? Caught in the caverns, and uh, thanks to my nice little depth meter here, 
222 feet surface, I can actually go down to the caverns and know if I'm in the caverns or not. Will this fit here unobtrusively? Yeah, so now I can go straight here for my fishing quests. For my desert fishing quests. Perfect. Okay. Might move that. You know, things have to be done. See, I was using this water for that first caverns quest item, and uh, we're in the underground. Need to go deeper. I know this is currently snow biome, but I can stand on the left side, and I think I'm away from the snow biome over there. Oh, I'd say I have enough water now. Make it a little bit wider. That'll help the water settle down nicely. Ugh. And it's 11.44, so we have less time than ever to fish. Let's not spill potions. Let's take them. There's Fishatron. That was quick. It's time to try to get a couple more. Cutting it close. There it is. All right. Hey, angler, how do you like your new digs? Dream bait gold and a fish hook. Fish hooks are good, I think. I can't remember. Equipable. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just a... It's just a grapple. It's just a grapple. I don't care about grapples. All right, so I'm going to have to move everything. That'll get done before next episode. We got ourselves a new set of houses. Yay! Yay! And now we have one to spare back home because uh, the angler vacated his. All right, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Put that little line through the seven so that people know it's a seven. And sometimes it's difficult to tell. Do all the things. Take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye.